Welcome to this fourth tutorial of learning programming through JavaScript. In this we're going to learn about conditions and types. Conditions are very simple logic statements like is 8 bigger than 7? True. Or for example, is 8 smaller than 7? False. So as you can see, these return simple true or false values. You can also do double equal signs to check equality. So does 8 equal 7? False. Or you can check if it does not equal 7, which is true. You can also do these with these true or false values. These true or false values are called Boolean values. You could do does true equal true? True. Does true equals false? False. Does false equals false? True. So the next thing I want to show you is types. So we showed in the last tutorial how to create string and number variables. We created a string. For example, here we create a string variable named x set to hello. A string is defined by text in two quotes. We can check that x is a string using the function type of. So if we do type of x, you can see it outputs string. We can also set x to a number, x equals 5, and then call type of again. You can see it's now a number. This is returning text in quotes. It's returning a string. So we can actually check this by feeding the output of type of back into another type of call. We can combine this using our logic statement to check whether or not a type of something is a string. False, because x is currently 5. But if we set x to hello, and we do type of x equals string again, you can see it's now true, because it checks that it's a string. 